Herzlich willkommen zurück zu GTA 5, Freunde. Wir stehen ja an Michaels wunderschönen Tennisplatz und an seinem Springbrunnen. Mann, der hat schon ein geiles Anwesen, ne? Kann man echt nicht meckern. Und wir haben auch schon hier am Haus direkt die nächste Mission. Mit dem großen M. Ich würde sagen, die machen wir auch als nächstes. Aber ich würde ganz gerne erstmal gucken, was der Michael noch so für Klamotten im Schrank hat, weil das hier geht ja mal gar nicht, oder? Das geht ja mal gar nicht. Wir sehen aus, als wenn wir gerade aufs College gehen, ey. Hallo? Achso, das scheint das Zimmer der Tochter zu sein. Was haben wir hier oben noch? Das Zimmer vom Sohnemann. Und... Ah, hier ist unser... Unser Schlafzimmer. Und dann müsste doch hier der Schrank sein, oder? Richtig. Sehr gut. Hier können wir nicht durch. Schade. Ja, dann gucken wir mal. <lacht> Outfits. Oh, das ist doch ganz nice. Anzüge hat er auch. Kein Pullover. Jacken. Okay. Ich würde sagen, wir nehmen einfach ein Outfit. Wir nehmen mal das. So. Und jetzt schauen wir mal, was das für eine Mission ist. Modifiziere deine Karre mit neuen Stoßstangenfähigen und sowas. Ja, Los Santos kostet immer. Ja, warum nicht? Aber nicht jetzt. Später. Wir müssen wir ja mal Kohle ran schaffen. Ich glaube, Michael der hat ganze 8773 auf dem Konto. Ist jetzt nicht so die Welt. Äh, wo ist das M hin? Äh, hallo? Hatten wir nicht schon M hier auf der Karte? Okay. Dann halt nicht. Dann gehen wir jetzt zu unserem Auto. Verstehe ich jetzt nicht, da oder eben noch ein M auf der Karte. Äh, Michael? Ja, nee, klar. Fahrerseite wäre auch zu einfach gewesen. So. Und dann, äh, fahren wir doch mal hier zum Fragezeichen. Wohnt da nicht der gute Onkel Doktor? Gucken wir mal, was wir dem heute so beichten können. <lacht> Zum Beispiel, dass wir jemanden das Hirn mit einem Telefon weggesprengt haben. Wer sich noch daran erinnert, letzte Folge. Aber in erster Linie will er ja so, so nur unsere Kohle haben. Hervorragendes Wetter in Los Santos. Sowieso sehr selten, dass es irgendwie regnet, habe ich so das Gefühl. Aber hey, no you. der Sonnenseite des Lebens, was ist das? Jetzt wäre eine gute Zeit, mal in den Aktienbörsen reinzuschauen. Kannst du dich mal umsehen. Okay. Schauen wir uns da mal um. Ist das M jetzt wieder da? Jetzt haben wir erst zu dem Fragezeichen, ist mir jetzt auch egal. Was steht das da hinten an dem Zaun? Eine Frau oder was? Oh, gucken wir mal. Not now. Message for me, get off your fat ass. See, this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you, and no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Oh, easy. <laughs> I'm not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck you. All of you. I'm on a run. Mm. Yeah, well, you seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay. Hey, I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state. QB. Whatever. Just don't have a coronary. Let's go! 
unsere Ausdauer, ja. schaffen, das werden wir nicht gleich noch eine Herzattacke kriegen auf dem Weg. Alter, was? Was? Wir mussten das auch noch gewinnen, warum? Wer ist denn mal hier mit Gentleman-like und so? Na toll, du musst halt nochmal erneut versuchen. Okay, ma'am, Boogs, race you to the beach. I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's running. How much gear do you need? The failed shock. This is so tragic. I can't believe you're cheating already. Stay on the path. You make me feel well adjusted. Run on the road. Take that traffic head on. Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. That space is yours. Own it. Alter, was? Hä? Wie sollen wir das denn machen? Wir können ja auch nicht abkürzen, wir müssen ja irgendwie die Checkpoints machen. Ob das jetzt die richtige Taktik ist. Ja, 
können ja mal hier so... Keine Ahnung, ob das jetzt funktioniert. Treppen ist sie natürlich wieder schneller. Sieht doch besser aus. Oh, jetzt wird der Balken rot. Aber das schaffen wir diesmal. Sehr gut. Not too shabby, huh? Totally null and void. I'd have annihilated you if you hadn't taken that shortcut. Yeah, whatever gets you through it. Oh, my chest. Fuck me. Screw you! You're lucky I'm tapering for a try! Neuer Kontakt, Marianne. Okay. So, wenn wir schon mal hier sind, können wir ja mal kurz bei unserem Seelenklempner hier vorbeischauen. Das muss doch hier irgendwo sein, oder? Vorne. Müssen wir denn da hin? Hier? Ah, da. Okay. So. Dann gucken wir mal. Komm in, Michael. Ja, yeah, thanks, Doc. Wie hast du been? Oh, gut. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think. Right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just... I've been caught up in the bullshit, Doc. You know... Ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. I mean, I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too. This kid. With... I don't know, he's got similar proclivities. Uh, you know. Oh, God. Now everything's out of control. I mean, and if it's not by choice, you know, I just... My life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? I happen to feel I'm making real progress, Doc. No major acting out. Well, not too much. I had a, you know, a freak out or two, but hey, I'm feeling better. Remember, Michael, denial is the cornerstone of relapses. You're not a well man. Hat Schlag ablehnen. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not trying to be perfect. Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. I mean, I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. Now, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed, but for some reason I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering, or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand 
or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. I mean, wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <laughs> See you next time. Okay. Ach ja, Herr Doktor, ich leih mir mal kurz Ihr Auto. Oh, netten Musikgeschmack hat der Herr Doktor da. Hallo, ich wollte die Musik wegmachen. Ja, was ist das? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do is your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. So, jetzt aber mal schnell hier, ey. Kann man sich ja nicht anhören. Crewmitglied freigeschaltet, cool. So, jetzt ist das M wieder da. Dann fahren wir mal dahin, würde ich sagen. M, ich will das M. Kann man auch hier drauf drücken? Ja, danke. Ja, wahrscheinlich egal gewesen, ist ja alles an derselben Ecke, aber egal. <lacht> Ja, gucken wir mal, was uns da erwartet. was uns jetzt hier erwartet. Ein Tag später. your linear entertainment go watch porn just go away shit fuck you what the fuck disrespectful <laughs> little asshole i can't believe you did that that's my tv you don't talk to me like that i can't believe you mom was right about you you don't know any better and you can't help it but you're an asshole yeah well why don't you do something then besides just stand there why don't you hit me is that what you want to be hit by your son yeah no i just Why you to do something besides sit there eating? Yeah, great. 
Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. <laughs> a bike ride along Vespucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. Begib dich zum Fahrradverleih. Cool. Michael macht echt viele sportliche Aktivitäten, ne? So well until you showed up. You know that? Oh. Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. I'm going gray listening to this crap. Station change. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway... I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Ja, die zwischenmenschliche Beziehung zwischen unserem Sohn Jimmy und Michael ist nicht ganz so gut, würde ich mal behaupten. In einer Hinsicht kann ich Jimmy verstehen, aber auf andere Art und Weise. Ich meine, was sollten wir denn machen, als das Boot und er entführt worden ist? Die Typen hatten ja auch Knarren. Ich glaube nicht, dass sie uns einfach so aufs Boot gelassen hätten und wieder runter. Naja. So, dann leihen wir uns mal ein paar Fahrräder aus, wa? Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of like force a habit. <lacht> Köstlicher Humor. Hey, you. Two bikes. Take your pick. Yo, thanks. If I make you the end of the year first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat screen. Into the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being. Hey, they're going to run soon now. Hey, Pop. If you're such a health nut, you should do a triathlon or some other midlife crisis nonsense. Hey, get out of my slipstream! You're a sore loser! I'd never bike with the man who murked my flat screen! You bike a few more miles, we might be able to squeeze you into some skinny jeans! Oh, I'm about to pass out! When I wake up, please let this nightmare be over! Haha, <sighs> <laughs> we meet at the end of the pier! You ain't gonna slingshot me! I gotta video this and send it to your mom! Hey, you 
There's a prize waiting for you at the end of the pier, Pop. Come on, Jim. Catch up. Imagine I'm a big, juicy burger. My body isn't meant to work like this, but I'm making it to beat you. Hey, don't they have fitness video games you can play now? You'll die first, old man, right after you buy the TV. It's not the winning, James. It's the taking part that counts. <laughs> I'm doing the work here, Fatso. Careful, Jim. Don't give yourself a hernia. To the end, all the way. If you like the beach so much, bury yourself out here. I'm not gonna be able to stop this thing. Oh, you've been in the ocean? Are you just dripping sweat? This hurts so, so much, but I don't care. Now, let me think. What am I gonna do with all that spare TV money? If I have a heart attack, it's your fault. Don't give up, even though you're losing. The boardwalk ain't big enough for the both of us. I mean, like... Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs? This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck! Ah! Dad, wait! Whoa! Hey! Wait! Ja, dann wollen wir noch mal gucken, was unsere Tochter da so treibt. Ich hoffe nur nicht, dass Jimmy uns jetzt verarscht hat. Das wäre natürlich schon ziemlich krass, wenn sie sich damit so ein paar Pornoproduzenten treffen würde. Jetzt schauen wir uns das mal an. Und was hier drin so abgeht, das erfahrt ihr in der nächsten Folge, Freunde. Haut rein!